Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is The Park Bench. And let's get a couple of elephants uh, in the room, just kind of acknowledge those immediately. First, uh, yes, we've both had haircuts uh, in, the, in the month I've been away. And we're in the London Docklands, and we are near London City Airport, which is why you can hear planes. And if, uh, and, and, and if Matt's second camera works, you'll be able to see them as well. <laughs> we are directly under the, the takeoff path from London City. I was considering, by the way, having an extra elephant in the room. I was considering getting a fake beard just for the first, <laughs> just the first couple of minutes of this video before getting, getting tired of it. I've been oh, on, please never do that. I've been, That'll on holiday, look I've been on holiday for a month. I was well on holiday. I've been away from the internet for a month. I was thinking I could, I could, oh, I could should have grown a beard or something. And I realised, no, I shouldn't have grown a beard. I should have just got a fake beard. See, you could do it Futurama style and then like have the little goatee as the, as the <laughs> evil bender, but I can, I, can, I can only imagine you in the Craig David. Oh, oh no, no. See, I was going with Mirror Universe, which is like the, the yeah, fine, fine. <laughs> what, no hair on top and all hair down? <laughs> <laughs> Let's never talk about this again. <laughs> what are we meant to be talking about today, Tom? Uh, several months ago now, uh, we had the first tranche of things. Tranche? Tranche? It's a word you use and I don't. First load of stuff from my ideas board. Um, a couple of people actually made things off that. Oh, God, yeah. This, this is his list of stuff that's too crap to have actually done anything with. <laughs> or that I just never, or was too complicated or something like that. These are not at all incitement to actually make these things. Don't uh, feel free, you're releasing yeah. them to the wild, aren't you? You've so, given up yeah. on it now. Someone did do a, uh, the quiz that was breakdancing or falling over. That was, that, that's <laughs> now an image quiz, I'll, I'll link to that. There's a couple of others which, uh, apologies if I haven't linked to you in the description below, uh, it's because I put together the description in a hurry and have forgotten you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that sounded a lot worse when it came out my mouth than I thought it was going to. So there was a jump cut there, and that's because he read out one of his ideas that he wants to keep. This may happen again and again and again when he goes, actually, no, now I've said it, that's a good idea. <laughs> Go for one of the crap ones. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Research into the numbers, the phone numbers you find on bathroom walls. <laughs> you know you sometimes go into a bathroom and someone has scrawled phone numbers on the side of it? Yeah. Are those actual phone numbers? Is that someone just putting up someone else's phone number as a joke? I don't know. I don't really want to know, but I want someone else to do the research so I can know. This means you're the kind of person that doesn't ring those numbers. Yes. And this means it you're also, means also the kind of person that doesn't write those numbers. And yes, it also means I'm the kind of person who apparently doesn't use his phone in the toilet these days. That was like three or four years ago. That, that, was, that was back when it was only weird people who used Twitter on the toilet. <laughs> Are you a person that writes phone numbers in toilets? <laughs> please Can you don't. tell us why? No, no, please, please don't. Please, please just get someone to do the research instead. I, I, I want to see a, want to see a paper. If there is a paper around there, out that, please reference it and let me know. And if it's toilet paper, even better. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Academic toilet paper. <laughs> Amazon Fulfillment Heist. A heist movie about one of those Amazon warehouses. <laughs> you know where the warehouse is just full of automated robots and everything like that? I am seeing a movie script where someone deliberately ships themselves into an Amazon warehouse in order to get some jewellery or something that's in there or something like that. That was filed under, this is a lovely idea, and I'm never going to script write it because I can't write scripts. So you'd have it um, Ocean's maybe 11 style where yeah. you've got someone doing acrobatics and oh, stuff with robots it's... that are jumping from robot to robot because the robots can only see forwards yes. and obstacles on the ground whereas the person's jumping oh. over the top of them all. Oh, that's a great idea. You know what that is? That's an episode of Bugs. Do you remember Bugs? 1990s replacement in the Doctor Who slot. Like techno oh, thriller about that, that was was that um, cyber police ish? Yeah, ish. ish. Yes. Well, uh, in, uh, freelance cyber police ish. I remember seeing the trailers for that and thinking this looks interesting, and then not watching the program. <laughs> oh no, as a kid, as a kid, I definitely watched that. It does not hold up well at all. But they filmed most of it around here in the Docklands. Huh. Oh, because this was the, the cyber this area. This was the future. Yeah. It was just one big tower at Canary Wharf, and they made sure to put in the back of as many shots <laughs> as possible. Um, Trans America Pong. This was nearly one of the ideas I decided not to tell the world about. But I'm never going to do it. I know I'm never going to do it. It's been here for years. You mean you actually... Oh, wait, no. That's transatlantic, I'm thinking. Carry on. Okay. So originally it was going to be in the UK. 
and then the UK doesn't work. You need, a, you need a vaguely kind of aspect ratio two to one rectangular kind of landmass. The idea being that you have a pong ball, virtual pong ball, moving along the map at let's say 200 miles an hour or something like that. And you just, your team just has to get someone with a smartphone in the right place to go, yeah, I'm the paddle now. Boop! <laughs> and then the West Coast or East Coast or whichever the other side is, has like, I don't know, fit however many minutes it takes the ball to go to find someone who is willing to load up the right web page and go, boop! And if too many people are playing, it can do it on the average position of all of them. So if people are just having a look in Boston where it's actually going to land in yeah. Philly, then yeah. you're going to miss. Well, okay, yeah, so it was either going to be wisdom of the crowd, but then I figured that would probably not work all that well, or it was going to be, no, we have to find someone on the phone. The trouble was filming it. <laughs> yeah. The trouble was you would also need a camera up in every place where the thing was. That's just about doable now, because you can get a friend to send in photos or something like that while you're doing it. Yeah. But in practice, it's FaceTime a little it bit too fiddly. Or you could just FaceTime to someone and put that like, yeah, you see where it, it's just not quite there. Uh, so by all means, do, do something with that. Um, augmented crazy golf. Augmented how? So... Are you, are you saying there's something not quite exciting enough about paint flaking off concrete? <laughs> See, I like... Uh, crazy golf is like uh, putt-putt or mini-golf or whatever you call it in your region. Um, I quite like that. Played, played it, you know, on holiday as a kid and things yeah, like that. Yeah, me too. Um, I just thought if you have a HoloLens or something like that, you could start triggering off virtual effects as well as physical ones. But if you're going to make that much effort, just make the actual physical effects good. Yeah. Yeah. I've realised that now I'm saying it, but it's on Because I, I think the an overall summary of HoloLens is it makes everything worse. It's useful for really specific <laughs> stuff, but other than that... For everything no. else, it makes everything worse. <laughs> I can tell you exactly when I came up uh, with this idea. This is when I was filming with uh, Colin and Charles on, uh, on the TV show. Uh, mobility scooter office chair conga. Where... <laughs> okay, there are two modes of transport here. Yep. One is a mobility scooter, and several are office chairs. Can you oh, see where this is going? Have you already played this? No, I think we played it once in that I had a chair and Colin was dragging it behind on his mobility scooter. And then I realised you could get a chain of this and overclock the mobility scooter. And yeah, anyway, we never did it, but that would be that would be the plane. plane. I like planes. Uh, oh, I really want someone to build this. Okay, this is actually a go out and do this. The protest clock. Is that like the doomsday clock? No. <laughs> this was... Dirty protest clock. No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what I'm laughing about, and you never will. No, sorry. That one, that one got away from me. That one, that one did not work. Um... <laughs> and come. <laughs> and next. Trade off your morals for discounts. <laughs> that was, okay. That echoed wonderfully. I heard three echoes of that from the buildings there, the buildings there, and then something else behind uh, me. Okay. So you know how you see those things that are like like us on Facebook and we'll give you a 10% off your order or join our newsletter and we'll have 10% off your order or something like yes. that. Yes. Could you start doing other stuff with that? Again, not saying anyone should do this. This is just an idea that came to me at some point for future reference. Please, please. I think this already exists. Carry on. Go outside and flick the V's at a baby, and we'll give you twenty percent off. <laughs> <laughs> go out, go out into the street and and hail a bus that you don't actually want, and then just stop, not get on it, and we'll give you five percent off. Earlier in this video, Tom suggested you make some of these things. Do not make this. Do not one. make this. This is a genuinely bad idea. Um, irritatingly, an idea I have on here is the World Cup of Everything. You know those Twitter World Cups that Richard Osmond started a while back? Yes. Yeah, well... So you were, you're, you're voting uh, yeah. for things and then many rounds. Voting for everything, yes. Yeah. Richard Osmond now has a book literally called The World Cup of Everything. Oh, it's his Christmas tie-in this year, so... Oh, right. That's, that's fine. Um... Oh, let's get through December without Fairy Tale of New York on here. Huh. That must be the first time we came up with it. Well, that's like, I've always done it. I just don't like the song. Yeah. I just always have I've always yeah. done that. Um, board game that affects other board games. This is a horrible idea because it would take ages. But you would have like a board game where you would then 
go off and play a game of Settlers of Catan or something to resolve something. And it would be this long thing that went on for ages. This has been sold by Pandemic Legacy and all its, yeah. its stuff happening. Um, and other legacy titles. Yeah. I'm sure someone has done this, but I can't find it. Make me feel old. I'm, I think I've seen that. Yeah. Or make me feel young. That one's harder. I can make most people our age feel old. Yeah. 18 year olds were born in this millennium. Yeah. Do you know it's been 27 years since The Matrix came out? You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it because it's not true. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely not true. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait, did you make a page that did fake ones of those? Was that on Us vs. No, them? that wasn't me. Oh, it might have been Us versus Them, actually. Yeah, we yeah, used to do I that I think stuff. you've actually already made that. All right, that. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. These noises are the Tom Scott scrolling noises. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Snake. La. Sna Snake. La. <laughs> Snape chat. It's Snapchat. Yeah. Just set pictures of Severus Snape of Harry Potter. Fairly sure that was that was done before Snape I wrote chat. it in here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm doing for the rest of this week. Well, oh yeah, yeah. I'll Snape chat you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is a park bench idea we could still do, which was just called, We Might Call You. Put your phone number or whatever in here, in this form. At some point, on live on the bench, we might call you. Oh, that's a great idea. It is, apart from people putting other people's phone numbers in there. We'd have to do a lot of jump cutting about that. I think the idea was it was basically going to be the, the YouTube equivalent of those old radio phone-ins where you had to answer your phone in a certain way. I was going to say, do it yeah. the... To it the radio way and say you have yeah. to answer your phone with a certain phrase otherwise yeah. you say we've got the wrong number and hang up on you yeah okay this might this might still happen please if this is happening there will be a link below for where to put your phone number <laughs> that's a this is a bad idea this is a this is a really bad idea Matt do not put someone else's phone number in it please oh no I know how we do it because now we've got access to all the phone APIs and things like that that I made the old number with text verification Text verification, or just let them know what number we'll be calling from. No, set up a number. Set up a number, leave a voice message, we'll call you back. Wait, maybe, there we go! You don't, you don't look convinced. I prefer the calling out of the thing. All right, fine. Great idea on paper. This would be things that were a great idea on paper but didn't actually work as videos. We're doing that right now. We're literally doing that right now. <laughs> and in hindsight, that's a better title for this video. Um, <laughs> I like, because you said that in the video, we now have to call the video something worse yeah. than that title. Yeah. Um, did, I ever, did I ever tell you about Realistic Heron Simulator? Yes. This, did, yes. Uh, did we do yes. this in the previous video? I can't remember. I don't think you did. There's a, there's a <laughs> thing that went around the internet a few years ago. Like, they got copied and pasted into loads of YouTube comments, which was something along the lines of, and I'll put the, put the text up, so that, hi, I am a heron, and I have a long neck and a beak, and if you don't copy and paste this to ten other, uh, other comments, I will come into your house at kitchen at night and mess up your pots and pans. And this was a rejected idea from us versus them, back, was there, back when I was there with Paul, where it was just going to be a thing where you were a heron, and you had to mess up people's pots and pans. <laughs> And we, we lobbied for this for ages and were told that not enough people would get the joke and it was far too much effort. And <laughs> you're absolutely right. <laughs> but it would have been amazing for but those But we that really did get wanted joke. to do a realistic heron simulator. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about realistic heron simulator is that it doesn't simulate a realistic heron. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I love that idea. Yeah, I love too. that idea. Um, I think that's about all I've got because now we're now we're getting to the uh, now we're getting to the bottom. Tell you what, I didn't do for a million subscribers. I nearly had an idea to do something like Monty Python's Galaxy Song, hmm. which you, you remember you're standing on a planet that's evolving, goes out the whole universe, and just go out that and try and make it clear just how small one million actually is in terms of the population. And then I passed a million, and I can't write songs. I didn't do anything with it, so that didn't happen. And it sounds like way too much effort. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about everything. I think we are, we are at the bottom of we're at the bottom of the page, and some of these I still want to do. So there you go. That's the uh, that's the full thing. That's that's the ideas board. We can't do another one of these for another ten years now. 
unless you have some kind of idea explosion. Or we steal other people's. Let's get them to call us. <laughs> <laughs> snape chat it's snapchat just set pics of several snape of harry potter I'm fairly sure that was that was done before snape i wrote chat. it in here uh, um. <laughs> oh no <laughs>